This happened last Friday. Uh, uh, Daryl Gilland and his girlfriend has simply requested their landlord, Gordon Macbeth, to come over and fix the heating. Instead, Gordon, let's put up his picture. Gordon decided to kill Daryl. Do you hear me? According to the girlfriend, Macbeth was perfectly nice about the maintenance request until he showed up out of nowhere, flipped and acted like the couple was asking too much. Now remember, by law, the landlord has to fix this. This is required. He's upset. Uh, Macbeth, the killer, has been charged with second degree murder and is being held on a $1 million bond. Uh, This is the man he killed, this is Daryl. Daryl and his girlfriend, they were just at home in the heat and they called the landlord to fix the heat. That's all, that's it. Now, Daryl is dead. His girlfriend's life flipped upside down. Daryl's parents and family, they're grieving, they're friends, the friends grieving, okay? Um, There's a GoFundMe that was set up, all right, uh, to cover the cost to relocate. Um, Gillen's body to be buried with his grandparents. Uh, you can find that is easy to find. Uh, here's here's the background. It began when Gordon Macbeth, 44, came over to the rental unit and the couple asked if they could use a space heater, and that's when he completely flipped. Said the victim's girlfriend, Samantha Pullman. He was evidently angry that he had to work when he was. On his off day, court documents say that Macbeth stabbed Gillen more than 30 times after his girlfriend sent a message about the heat. The couple had been together for five years and moved into the home together. Macbeth pulled out a long knife. This is just so extreme and started stabbing this man. Neighbors recalled horrific screaming from the couple's home. One neighbor rushed to the home seeing the attacker on top of Gillen continuing to stab him. Another neighbor pulled out a gun, holding him until the police arrived. Wow, everything changed in moments. Attorney, have you seen something this egregious before? It's a horrific crime and my condolences go to the girlfriend, really awful. Unfortunately, I feel like we do, we are start, I don't know if there's mental illness involved here, but it almost seems like it. And we are seeing a lot more of that in this country. And I hope we start to take mental illness more seriously. And we're also start seeing, you know, how vulnerable tenants are and how hard, you know, people live in these conditions. Even though they shouldn't, you know, there should be heat, as you said, and often they don't have plumbing fixed and and that kind of thing. And that's kind of come out a little bit more during this pandemic as well. And hopefully we focus our attention there too.